Hey everyone, Siege here, back again with another video on how not to suffer with Live 2D. You know what, let's face it, we're gonna suffer either way. So, I've been getting a lot of questions about templates for models and animations, like how do I make my own template, how do these usually work, and other queries that are related to the subject. Well, those will all be answered in this very video. Hopefully all of them. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna have to explain what templates are in Live 2D. Templates are mainly used as a sort of paradigm in modeling and animation. In other words, it's a way of making rigging and animating smoother and faster. If you still don't get what I mean, here's an analogy. Let's compare this with drawing. In drawing, of course you would have to make a sketch first on what you want to draw. A sketch is a guide for you to get the picture that you imagine. That's the same thing with templates. A template is a basis that you can use so that you wouldn't have to rig the same things back to square one. Hopefully you get what I mean now. If not, well, I'm sorry, I tried. So now that I explained that, let's get into the question. How exactly do I make and use a template? In Live 2D, templates are both used in modeler mode and animator mode. I'm gonna start off with explaining the one in modeler mode first. So, how do you make a template in modeler mode? Well, to be honest with you, any Live 2D model can be used as a template. If you already have a model that's already rigged, and the one that you'll be rigging is just similar to that, then you could use that as a sort of basis. Though there might be some parts of the model that don't really go with the model that you're working on, so I would recommend you to make a model that only has the basic things. And by that, I mean it just has the basic riggings for a standard model. This includes the head tilt and turns, body movement, and the arm and leg motions. How do I make a basic rigged model? I made a whole video about it, so you can check that out. The link will be in the description box below, or you can just click on the eye icon on the top right of this video. Here I'm showing an example of a model that only has the basic rigging, and that can be used as a template. If you want to have the template that I'm using for this video, I'll leave a link in the description, and I'll be sending this in my Discord server as well. Now, how do you actually use the template in modeler mode? Once you have a template, you can now apply it to the model that you would be rigging. Of course, make sure that the model already has some art meshes that are needed. To do that, you just have to select everything in the model and then just click on the Auto Mesh Generator button. Then just pick the preset that you wish to use. Now back to applying the template. In order to do so, you just have to click on File, and then select Apply Template. What you want to do now is that you're going to look for that template that you want to use. So click on that button with the three dots and look for the template that you're going to use. With that, you can click OK. There will be a new window where you see your template and your model. I recommend you to switch from the blinking effect to the fixed transparency opacity instead so that you won't have a hard time on the setup. You want to make sure that the template is aligned with the parts of your model. It may not be accurate, but at least make it close enough. Once you do that, you want to click on Apply Template Preview. Now you're gonna see the template and your model move around to test out the motions. You can stop the playback by clicking on the playback button. If you want to test out each and every parameter, click on Parameter Palette button. Check the parameters if they are accurate or at least close enough to the, you know, logic of motions. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but I guess now it is a thing, logic of motions. We'll make that a thing now. <laughs> Once you're done with that, you can click on OK. Oh, I forgot to mention. Sometimes when applying templates, some parts wouldn't align with each other. To fix that, you're gonna click on that part of the model, and then go to the template, and click on the part of the template where it should be aligned. And then there's gonna be a button there which says Link Matching Components. Click on that. And then the issue is fixed. Okay, wait. Let me make something clear here. I've mentioned this in my other tutorials, but I'll say it again for the sake of this video. 
The template does not do everything for you. Like I said earlier, it's just the basis. Templates are not really accurate at times, so you still have to adjust certain things on your model. Remember, this is just a guide to help you. It won't do everything for you. You get the general idea, right? No? Well, watch this video again, because I'm not going to explain it anymore. <laughs> now let's move on to the templates in animator mode. Here, templates are used for certain animations that are often used by the copying and pasting method in keyframes. Examples of animations that may be used as templates here are the breathing animation, blinking animation, idle motions, hair waving, walking and running animations, etc. In order to make a template, all you have to do is select the keyframes that you want to set as a template. And then go to the template tab on the left side of the interface. Then click on the little button on the bottom right corner of the tab. Then you can just name the template whatever you want. When you're done, you can just click on the template you made and it'll do the work for you. You can also apply those same templates to other models in any animation files. In order for them to work though, you have to note something in animation templates. Keep an eye on the parameter IDs. Those things are important in animation templates, so it would be best for you to take note of them. If the parameter IDs are not the same, the template will not work for you. To view the parameter IDs, you're gonna go back to modeler mode, and then click on modeling, and then click parameter, and then you're gonna see parameter settings. You're gonna see each and every parameter here, to rename the ID of one parameter, you can just double-click on the parameter you want to edit, and then rename it. And that's all I have for this video! Hopefully this helps you clear up at least most of the questions you have about templates. If it did, hit that like button. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and maybe I could answer them or maybe someone else can. I can't really guarantee that I will answer all of your questions due to the amount of comments, though I will try my best, so please bear with me. And don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell on ring a ding ding so that you won't miss any videos from me. That being said, see you in the next video. Siege out!